So my dad is a super handy guy and he uh, basically created a custom made walking stick. He likes to walk um on hikes in the in the in the woods and he goes hunting and he always carries a walking stick so he looked up on youtube a way to modify a walking stick create a survival walking stick and he basically upgraded what he saw on his own and made his own custom walking stick and it, it is super dope check it out so the the stick is the self is made of what? So I opted for a, uh, a, a tube that's made out of a Schedule 20 reinforced fiberglass tubing. Uh, for me, I had it done where I had this. This is nothing more than a the rubber tip for chairs. And I put a cold well uh, cement on it with a stainless steel bolt so that it would Go ahead. Uh, last a little longer and uh, uh, these things here are also extendable if you you can extend this thing depending this is stainless steel tubing like if you're walking on a deeper uh, uh, ravine where you can't reach it you can extend it so you can touch the bottom and uh, keep your walking stable also on a bare country where I normally go hunting with this a lot of bear, I, I can remove the footing or the rubber footing and steel on this thing here and use my, my survival knife. It's very sharp, good steel, stainless steel, and you can remove the, the cap on this thing here. And it had a uh, uh, eight uh, rough uh, screwing type thing so uh in case you stumble into some bear that is have cubs and they, they decided to attack you and you didn't have enough time for your rifle or your or if you have a handgun but you didn't go down after you empty the magazine <laughs> you you could use this thing as, as to defend yourself against a bear attack and if you're brave enough to really which you will be i mean if the bear attack you, you will be brave enough to fight back. And this would be more than enough to really put down a good, good size uh, black bear, even a grizzly, if you know what you're doing. The lanyards here with the brown tassel in it, it's something that uh, won't slip off your hand. And it also, the tubing is also a one, a one and a quarter inch diameter inside which you can fill it up with all kinds of survival uh, gears like uh, fishing hooks, uh, uh, water purification uh, pails, uh, fire making uh, uh, equipment, all kinds of stuff that you can uh, think of. So uh, that extends further than And this right here would now, extend right? if you're, uh, this is the ideal length actually for for, for a bear attack, which is about six feet long, uh, that will enable you not the, the bear to get closer to you and do you any harm. But it is extendable to a point where you can extend it to a longer reach, but it doesn't allow you a better handle and maneuverability in your uh, uh, attempt to fight a attacking bear. And to JC. really get, is when he gets stabbed right there, JC. he's not going to go any closer. Don't get close to dad, to pop pop. Uh, but he's saying- So the question is, would you be willing to create one for someone who requests it? Uh, sure. But it's, it's, and you can make this at different uh, Oh, the, yeah, different uh, type. But the ideal one is about about this side. So my dad's customized uh, walking stick for survival in in the woods. Yeah. Before an apocalypse. And uh, we are hunting right now. They uh, there were some sightings of, of bears, and uh, one of them is a is a sow with uh, a couple of cubs. And when you encounter a bear like that uh, at a close uh, distance, you can always expect an attack. <laughs>
because he's trying to prevent the little ones, mm -hmm. the cubs. And a bear and attack is not like a. I, it's not. It's <laughs> not pleasant, really. I've seen it's not some, like a dog attack. Yeah. Uh, Likelihood of survival. Is yeah. Not what? What the, the bear? You think that the bear, or the mama bear, um, big caliber carbines for bear, and on, on deer and animals and all that, but this right here, just in case. You empty your gun and he's still coming at you, and then you ain't got no time anymore. Or in a situation where access to your gun is denied because of other factors like uh, you're doing something uh, away from your rifle or whatever, and you always carry this thing close to you. By the way, if you're interested in having a survival walking stick, um my email address is below and i'll work with my dad and maybe he can arrange to make one for you